everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming today with another part of our 100 day projects. Today we're gonna create a journal cover. I need something to put all these things inside <laughs> later. For journal cover I'm gonna be using these boxes from Oatmeals. I love them so much. I mean not just those boxes, I mean the food. And I'm saving these boxes just because they are perfect for craft. They are perfect as a base for any kind of frames, journal covers, um, any kind of uh, dividers you want to create for your journals, any kind of die cuts. They, they do have right thickness. They are not too heavy, but they are not too flimsy. They are great uh, thickness of chipboard. You can use any kind of cereal boxes, uh, boxes from packaging, from your uh, home supplies. You can use also these heavy file folders. They are perfect for a craft like this as well. Uh, I'm going to be using these, but I will show you on these file folders. I will cut these file folders to exact measurement, which I will get from these and show you how you can create it from some other material you have at home. I do believe this series can help to any beginner to feel comfortable to start with what they do have already at home. I know I've been struggling at the start what I should use or where to find all kind of craft supplies and I, I hope this will show to, that anyone can do it. For covering my junk journal I'm gonna be using again newspapers because I think newspapers since I started to use them in this in this series, in this challenge, I felt in love with newspapers. I, I wish I knew that about newspapers a long, long time ago because they are amazing for jun junk journal makers. Uh, so I'm going to be using these. Uh, these boxes are open kind of like a long way, which is brilliant for journal cover I would like to create. Uh, the journal cover we, we're going to create today will be self-closing. The journal cover will be created from two parts to create that self-closing. Uh, I'm going to take my box as my measurement for that journal. So this will be back cover, size of back cover. This will be size of front cover. This will be size of the spine of my journal. I'm not going to resize anything too much. I don't need these sizes, uh, these sides, so I'm going to cut them straight away. If you are a beginner and if you are thinking what kind of supplies you need fr right from the start, I'm going to tell you, you need good scissors, you need good roller and probably knife for something like this. And you need good glue. And your imagination and don't be scared that you don't have fancy stuff you can create beautiful stuff just from what you've got at home and just enjoy the the process of making so i'm gonna cut this one as well and i'm taking all these folds original folds like my navigator here so this will be a kind of like base. I would like to have flaps inside in my journal. So I'm going to keep this together with this large piece, this together with that large piece. This one I'm going to cut on half and that one half I'm going to just glue on this fold here. So you can either measure it like I'm going to do here or if you do not have the patient, just fold it this way. Make it easy for you. Make your craft work with you. Do not get stressed. And then use your knife and cut it between. Like this. I'm using PVA glue, which I do have on this side. I will put a link down below to the PVA glue I am using. It's nice, strong, and it it does hold really well. So here I'm gonna glue my piece on this side. That way I have created similar ends. I'm gonna let it dry. 
So right now I have created uh, flaps for inside in my journal, which will hold together the journal itself. So to create these inside flaps for your cover, you will need uh, these parts. One part A8 by four and a half inches or in centimeters 20.4 by 11 and a half uh, centimeters. That's going to be base. Then you will need two parts, which will be slightly smaller than uh, will be the spine of the book. Two parts, four uh, and a half inch by two and one eighth of inch, or in centimeters, 11 and a half by 5.4 centimeters. These pieces are going right here. And then the last pieces, this will be those flaps. Two pieces, four and a half by four inches or eleven and a half by ten centimeters, and they will go right here for gluing them together. Because I'm working with soft chipboard, and the cover will have kind of like soft closing. It will be not. It will be heavy uh, in the end, but uh, it will have that soft closing. I'm gonna glue them together with sport tape. Uh, I know the sport tape, this self-adhesive sport tape, it's holding really nicely. It doesn't tear as fast as uh, any other paper tapes or, you know, supplies I can use. I like to use this sport tape and it's really fast to put together pieces I need. So I'm going to take that tape, place it on my first piece in the row. And this will be inside of my book cover. I'm going to flip it over. Take another piece and just place it right next to it. Just like this and press. I'm going to flip it again, grab my sport tape again, place it over the edge. Cut it here. I'm gonna grab my middle piece, middle part, and again I'm gonna place it right next to that part before. And I'm not keeping like a big gap. If I'm keeping there some gap, it's really small. Just a light view of that tape underneath. I'm gonna flip it over, put the tape on this edge. And I'm gonna grab another this small part and place it right here. And I'm gonna cut this excess from this side. I'm gonna flip it over, take my tape. Yeah. Place it again here and take last part and that's, that's done what I need to do. And again, match them next to each other and just cut the excess around. I'm gonna take bone folder and press everything. If you don't have bone folder, which is great tool for uh, for paper craft, you can use always this side of scissors. If uh, that side is uh, straight, you know you can press everything and smooth everything with your scissors, or maybe. Uh, the end of kitchen knife, not that sharp end, the handle of kitchen, kitchen knife, I mean. That's perfect tool as well. Ruler, it's a wonderful tool for smoothing and pressing all together. So that way you have created inside uh, flaps of your journal. I do have pre-cut pieces from my boxes for making front and back cover. So I do have two pieces, eight 
by 5 inches or 20.4 by 12 and a half centimeters, two parts. I do have uh, two pieces for a spine. One will be here and other will be here. So two pieces for a spine, eight by two and one quarter of inch or in centimeters 20.4 by 5.7 centimeters. And I do have the strip which will go inside and will close the book. And that, that strip it's slightly smaller to make sure we will get there. So seven uh, and three quarter of inch by one and five eighths of inch or in centimeters 20 by four centimeters. That's the <laughs> best measurement. So I do have these pieces and I'm gonna do exactly same like before. I'm gonna put those pieces the way I need to glue them together. So first goes this small part that will be first, then one spine, front cover, other spine, back cover. In this order I'm gonna glue them together using again sports tape and again I'm gonna do exactly same. This was originally right next to that uh, you know that box and it does have kind of like angle cut it. It starts with same measurement with that eight inches and it does have angle cut here and angle cut here to make it smaller on these sides. So I kept it this way because it's actually what I, oops, what I need to have there. So if you want to start to, you know, uh, to make your strip eight by two and one quarter and then cut this, uh, this side slightly about one quarter of inch from the edge and make an angle and this side slightly again in the angle do it this way or you can cut that seven and three quarter by two and one quarter and just glue it together it will work either way so here i'm gonna glue this And I do have my base for my journal cover. I would like to have their window in the front cover. So that's what I'm going to create right now. I'm going to grab my ruler. <clears throat> this ruler I'm going to take like measurement and easy way. I'm going to place my ruler here in the fold where there is a spine and front cover. I'm going to take my pencil, draw a line. I'm going to move my ruler to the opposite side of the front cover. Again, place it with the spine and draw a line. Now I'm going to place my ruler to the bottom, match it with the bottom side, draw a line and same here on the top. draw a line. Here I have created rectangle which I'm gonna cut off. So I do have my front cover with the window in there. Before uh, I will start to put newspaper as my uh, collage on this front cover. I'm gonna grab some old paper back or wrapping paper and I'm gonna draw this as my template. I do have here this old paper I used many times before. It's uh, kind of like wrapping paper and it does have nice straight edges. So I'm gonna place my book cover to these edges and draw exactly what I do have here. This one. And all around. And I'm gonna cut this from my paper. So I'm gonna cut this from the paper. 
So I do have my template. I'm gonna save it because I will need it. And now I can start to create collage from my newspapers. Uh, I'm gonna start with any kind of page as a base for gluing my paper, my newspaper. I'm gonna be using uh, glue, which I know it will hold nicely. You can use any kind of PVA glue, Mod Podge, um, anything you have at home. So I do have, hopefully dry, uh, this, kind of like my base for my uh, cover. I'm gonna cut off the inside of that window, I'm gonna keep there about, how much, three quarter of inch paper inside. And then I will fold it. And thank you so much for all your amazing supporting <laughs> comments. Yes, I know. The views are going down. I kind of feel like this challenge I <laughs> choose. It's killing my YouTube channel and it scares, scares me so much. And it's, yeah, I don't know. It's very hard to continue with this challenge. That's true. I'm going to be honest here because every YouTuber goes for views. That's obviously normal. Even I go for views. I, I like if my videos has big views because that means that I motivated to be creative more people. And this is very, very scary what is happening right now. But I really do believe uh, that if you want to create, you can find amazing things even in uh, newspapers and junk journals are made from junk. So <laughs> that's why I was thinking this will be perfect. It's not. Yeah. So thank you so, so much to all of you who stayed and who are continuing to support me on this on this journey to create nice, beautiful journal out of nothing because I think this can be perfect for beginners, really. They will try on a material which is not expensive. So I just cut the frame inside about, I don't know, half inch. Uh, half inch these strips and fold them around the edge and let it dry you will have to wait and you will need to press nicely around the edges and when i'm folding i'm also kind of like pulling that paper around the edge and i made few layers of that newspaper um, on the top when i made my collage so it's not just one newspaper it's few layers of the newspaper And I also cut that newspaper around in half inch size. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna fold that newspaper around the edges and glue it around the edges. Because it's thin chipboard, I don't need to uh, put here kind of like big piece of newspaper. I'm gonna cut it straight to the corner. And in the angle, and here, where there is uh, kind of like that future flap.
I'm gonna cut here and put there a little bit more glue in that corner as I can see it's not holding well and cut the opposite side And here where uh, the flap will be, which will go between the layers, I'm gonna cut it uh, in that uh, in that fold. So I will kind of follow these angles here and here and here and here. So that way I can fold this one over that angle and this one here. So it will follow the shape of that flap. And here I can make small notch. Take it off. So I will fold this one and then this one will go nicely over it. So I do have uh, the base coverage with newspapers done. I'm gonna pre-fold all these folds right now. And I'm gonna also grab my newspapers and put newspapers from outside of this strip. Now I do have wrapped up from one side this sheet which will make uh, flaps in my journal and I do have wrapped up uh, the cover for my journal. I would like to put inside fabric and for that my son gave me his old t-shirt which he which doesn't fit on him anymore. So I'm gonna be using this old t-shirt uh, as my inside fabric uh, to make sure I will have the right size and the right piece of fabric inside that's why I made this template and on this one it's just long strip so hopefully I can get that <laughs> so here I'm gonna open the t-shirt on the biggest biggest side which is back side Place my template here. And this template goes... This will be my cover, right? So this template goes this way. On this side, I need to have that fabric. So I will have to glue it this way on my fabric. For that, I'm going to be using... For basing gluing, I'm gonna be using this and I will sew it around. So I'm not gonna put too much glue because I will be using sewing machine. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just here and there. That will be enough. Now I can flip it over, place it to that fabric. I can also kind of manage to watch the pattern of that fabric here like this place it there and now I can cut the fabric around I have managed to cut out piece around this uh, inter 
interface and I do have also strip for my inside flaps strip of fabric first I'm gonna be working on this one and kind of show you what I'm gonna do so this I did glued on it and oh uh, gonna just flat it you can use iron to make sure it's it's flat and neat and here I'm gonna do exactly same what I did on the cover I'm gonna cut off inside rectangle with about three eighths of inch framing and that I will fold over the edge of this uh, template so exactly same way and here I'm, I'm not sewing clothes so I can totally use a glue it's it's nothing wrong about that and I can totally use a paper as my template because I'm not sewing a, some, you know, some clothes. So anything what will help you to feel more comfortable with what you do, what you create, just do it. There are no wrong moves when it comes about creativity make your craft easy for you and now again i'm gonna be using glue and first i will glue these sides inside i will try this one it dries quite fast that's good And same I'm gonna do with the sides here. Just glue it over the my temp, my paper template. So I do have my template covered with that fabric. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> and it will be placed in my journal cover like this. later okay now this one uh, I cut it uh, bigger than it's my paper here just in case for those who would like to have their inside made the sewing way you will need to fold the sides sew it and then glue it on your paper or you can do what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the glue on all this piece not totally to the sides to the edges because there I will be using sewing machine and I'm gonna grab this and place it with uh, top side the right side here right side on the top and glue it now I can take my sewing machine and with my sewing machine I can sew all around of the edges of this long strong piece that way I'll, I will secure also end of this fabric and then anything what will be over the edges I can cut off with my scissors and I'm gonna also sew edges all around of this piece and all around of the frame I'm not gonna glue it together with my cover yet I'm gonna be making sewing effect on these if you don't have sewing machine then just put a glue and you don't you will don't do that sewing effect that you will sew the fabric first and then glue it on that just put the glue on all that piece from inside of course from this side and then glue your fabric on it and then cut anything what will be around just use your glue so I do have my all sewing done all around uh, I also cut the edge of the uh, fabric here 
and I'm gonna be using this my distressing tool to kind of um, smooth that fabric around the edge because it's uh, you know strong tool it does make perfect job for that it makes that edge kind of like old jeans the, you know those ripped edges and I really like that this is nail file cube when you are uh, polishing your nails so this is nail file file cube which I used to make this one once it was hardly used I cut it on pieces and I'm using these sides to apply ink to my projects and <laughs> this one is seven years old and it's still working really well so I'm not gonna change that so I do have these two three basics done this will be glued here this will be glued here and it will be it will get closed this way as i showed you before oh the, this inside of course <laughs> but to get there we still have lots of things to do i do have here one of the pockets we created in the previous uh, videos and i was thinking this pocket will will be actually really cute here i'm gonna fold the parts which should be folded oops and I was thinking if I will use this uh, pocket right here I can glue it around so I will have four pockets right here one two three and four behind so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put the glue and here I'm gonna again use my PVA glue it's a really good one if I will let it dry properly if I will don't move it too fast it's holding on fabric so here I'm gonna put the glue put the glue on the edges of this and on the edges of this Now I need to lift up also kind of like that spine size or flap side, not size, side. And I'm going to place my pocket to the bottom here. Flip it over. And these sides I'm going to clip with my paper clips and let it dry properly. The journal cover is not decorated yet. And it's not totally finished it's not finished at all but right here right now I'm gonna finish to make a video about this journal cover because otherwise I will don't have a time to edit my videos to put them together to have something tonight so if you will come tomorrow to continue <clears throat> to work with me we will need to put some decorations here and yeah here um, maybe around the window put their acetate also decorate this one decorate the spine before we will glue it all together to make sure that there are things which are uh, kind of hooked or uh, attached to this piece and this piece with brats but nothing goes through the both sides everything is hidden between those sides so we do have basics so i'm gonna finish this video here and the decoration decorating inside and outside uh, i'm gonna do tomorrow i hope i will see you there and uh, i hope you will enjoy it too uh, i'm gonna be digging in my newspapers even more to find something interesting and tomorrow we will create inside and outside all these flaps and then we will put it all together we will make some decorations on the spine and also here on the cover also we will prepare uh, something what will hold our future book block and all that will be in those future videos thank you so much for uh, visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me today have a beautiful day take care of yourself 
and I will see you soon. Bye.